Hello everyone, this is Doug Ward. I'd like to lead you through some of the thinking that I have about a threshold concept and I really push students to synthesize. So to me, th 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 synthesis is a threshold concept in that if students can really start to understand how to draw together ideas from readings, from videos, from their own experiences, they start to see things more broadly. They start to understand how things fit together and to start to understand the complexities of information that I want them to have. I give them a lot of readings and I work with a lot of freshmen, sophomores, sometimes some upperclassmen, I, but I give them a lot of readings that I want them to draw together. I also give them videos that they have to, that they have to watch that, that complement those same ideas. Often what I get though uh, is a lot of confused faces. So I've been thinking a lot about how can I help students better synthesize the readings and understand really the concept of synthesis. I have them do writing each week on Blackboard. I use the journal function on Blackboard and each student has a journal that just that student and I can see. And then I, I give them prompts some questions that, that to, to help them think. But really what I want them to do is to tell me what the theme is. In class, I've tried several things. I will try to explain synthesis, synthesis in more detail, but I also give them examples showing writing that has been synthesized, drawing together lots of different aspects of, of writing and videos. Unfortunately, I'm often disappointed. Some people get it, but a lot of others don't. I did something different this semester. I was more methodical in my approach to it. Rather than just giving them two good examples, I gave them three examples. One that was not very well done at all, one that was a little bit better, and one that was just excellent. I mean, it was so good that I had students who were saying that they thought I did it. They were speculating and, and trying to put me in there. That got their attention. And so more of them understood it, but some of them were still struggling. I tried something else. I created a video for them in which I drew on the screen using the idea of cooking to help them understand synthesis. I compared synthesis to summary and analysis, which are the two things that they're most used to. So with summary, the idea was that it's like boiling down, say, uh, sugar and water into a, into a syrup. Analysis is tasting something and trying to decide what the ingredients are in it. And synthesis is really cooking. You're putting all of these ingredients together into something and creating something new. That's been fairly successful for me. And I did that uh, last semester and I have continued it this semester as part of their required work that they do online. And students frequently cite that video in their journal entries as they draw together ideas. I also have them do self-evaluations at midterm and at the end of the semester. And they, they bring that video up as well about how, co how synthesis is like cooking. So that's been somewhat successful. Still some students don't get it. So what I do in class, and sometimes I bring them in out of class to my office, I have them sit down with me and I put on the screen one of their journal entries and talk through the journal entry in which they have attempted to synthesize. Usually I can find within that entry something in which they have. They've really tied together ideas into something new and I say let's start with that and let's bring that up to the top. Now how does the rest of what you're doing flow into that? How can you use that idea to bring the rest of the material together? And that sets off light bulbs for others. Through that combination, I can usually get most students into this idea of synthesis by the end of the semester. Not everybody is, is good at it. Most of them do an okay job. Some of them really grasp it. They're the ones I think really get that idea of a threshold concept and they start to see things differently. It's very satisfying. Again, it's never 100% successful, but that kind of gives you a sense of how I've approached
not only threshold concepts, but also adapting my teaching to try to help students grasp some of those concepts.